going on guys? It's Matt, episode eight of Full Day at the Shop is now live. Um, thank you guys for your continued support and tuning into all the episodes we've been doing. We've been having really good feedback, getting a lot of likes, a lot of views, and we appreciate it guys. Um, as long as we continue that, we will continue with the weekly uploads. I do have a couple of announcements for y'all today. Um, number one, we are going to be attending SneakerCon Dallas, October 15th and 16th. We'll be, both, we'll be there both days. Um, so the Saturday of the 15th, me and Logan will be there kind of just hanging out, um, maybe shopping. And then Sunday, me and Raul will be there filming and we'll be going grill hunting. And hopefully we can find some cool stuff. We got a few pairs on the, the radar, some cause fours maybe, pure plat Yeezys, I don't know. I don't want to jinx anything. Hope we can actually find it. Um, but those are just a couple pairs I'm looking for and there's there's a ton more that I'd be interested in buying. But yeah, Sunday we'll be there grill hunting and me and Saturday me and Logan will be there just kind of hanging out, maybe shopping as well. Um, but before we get into that, also another announcement I did have was the merch. We will be restocking some sizes because we sold out of large and XL on both tees. Um, so we'll be restocking on both of those, the Kobe and the MJ. And then maybe in the next month or couple weeks, I will be dropping the third tee. Um, I haven't nailed down a specific athlete I want to put on the tee. So if you guys want to give me some suggestions, that'd be dope. I'm open to football players too. It doesn't have to be just basketball. Um, so if you guys want to comment down below and if, I mean if we have a comment that gets a lot of likes for a tee We can make it happen for y'all. Um, so let us know which tee y'all want to see next um, But that's about it for the announcements. Let's go ahead and get into the full day Starting off with the heat new arrivals y'all know how it is got a couple of good pairs right here We bought these late last night like right before we closed so thought we'd go ahead and throw them in this vlog today I haven't even put them in the system yet um, first off a pair of the Union Guava 4s a dead stock pair these are tagged from the previous store. They will not be priced at that. Do not worry. We do not price that high, um, but these will be priced a little bit lower than that. Um, quite a bit lower. And we got some dead stock Guava Union 4s. Great shoe. I've got these personally. Um, not my favorite of the Union 4s. Me and Raul were actually talking about this. I think the Topes were our favorite. Yeah. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I personally like the Topes the best. Um, and then it probably didn't be Noirs and then these. Um, these are still in my top three, but. Uh, forget about the Desert Moss. Yeah, I yeah, totally forget about those. I had those because I, I convinced myself that I needed the set. And I was like, dude, I, I do not need these. I ended up selling them because yeah. they're just so ugly. It's just, they're honestly ugly. And then uh, a good pair of uh, lots right here, dead stock as well. Lot 15. Um, off white dunks. These lots always do well for us. I'm sure you guys know how popular these are. Um, and I'm always happy to take a pair of lots in. And then also, Raul is bringing a pair to hopefully get sold for himself. Um, he's gonna be listing this at 16, right? Is that what yeah, we talked about? 15. 16, which is a fantastic price for a dead stock pair of Trophy Room Air Jordan 1s. Another beautiful pair that came out last year. Um, these made it in my top five last year um, for Sneakers of the Year. But he's having a hard time on DSing him and I do not blame him. I I had a very tough time on DSing them. I had them for a good full year before I undiased them. I actually undiased them at grand opening for the yeah. store. Um, and that was hard and the <laughs> bottoms are so dirty now just because they have like this milky sole So as soon as you wear them, it just gets so dusty and dirty Which is unfortunate because it's a great looking shoe, but yeah, I mean I can see why it's tough to undies them I had a tough time myself undiesing them. Yeah, just a few new arrivals. We also go over here um, As you can see right here Starting to get full again. I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, I think It's just it's crazy like how rapidly we get more inventory and how rapidly the start stacking up, but I think we're gonna do some middle displays. Um, but yeah, we've got a full day ahead of us, so hopefully stay steady. Two fifty for all of them. A piece. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Two fifty piece. Two fifty pair. Okay. And most of them I got from either y'all or. Twenty twelve. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Is that the tag I have to? What do you think on these? I got them for a steal, so I'm honestly making money on them no matter what you offer me. I doubt that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just, uh, what, what, what do you think? Like, just give me an idea. Uh, well, one ninety-five. I'd pay one fifty for them. Can no box one? used, but I'd pay one fifty for them. We do one sixty. 
I'd probably be firing on these, man. Yeah. I really don't. I try not to do the no box stuff, but I will do it for the, if the price is right. Um, okay, that's cool. All right. 150. All right. Uh, militaries, what were you thinking? Uh, it's around 250. I mean, I was hoping to get 250 for most of them. Would you do two? It's a use pair. Right? Yeah. Two. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, Hyper Royal. I mean, I'd love to get three for those. Sounds a bit high. These went down a lot, dude. Really? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, they're at three new, bro. Damn. New? Yeah, like a, a new pair if they were brand new. It's an eight, right? Fuck, oh, those are dropping shit. Yeah, I'd offer 260 for a new pair. So. so can you do. Can you do 185? I could do like 160. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Shattered. Mm -hmm. Where we at? 250. <laughs> I mean, that's where I'm at for most of it. That's cool. Um, two flat. That's fine. Okay. Cool gray. Yeah. Same thing. 250. Yeah. Okay, these are a little dirty, but I hope that comes out. It should. I'd be a lot lower than 250 on these. These are because that's like what I pay new. Oh, for a new pair. Uh, 125. That's fine. Yeah, you can't argue with that. Four. Four? I'm just kidding. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, jeez. That's, um, that's your thumbnail right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 250 for those. You don't have to take them. I'm just going to throw my offer out there. They're kind of one of the other scuffs and stuff all over them. So, like, it'd be 120. I don't. Have to, I know it's Can way. One fifty. I couldn't, man. They're they're pretty dirty. Like I'd have to really clean up. And I don't love taking the twenty twelve pairs just because people much prefer the twenty sixteen pairs. These are always a harder move. Are they the twenty twelve? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't have the Nike Air on the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're pretty dirty. I'd have to like de yellow them and clean them and stuff, bro. So. Um, you paid high, so I don't. I mean, if you don't want to, I totally no, I'll get hold it. On to those. Okay, cool. Yeah, no worries. I, those are one of my favorite pairs. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And then where are you at on these? 250. I know you're not gonna get nothing from. Uh, maybe 150. It's a 12. Yeah. Yeah. 150. Yeah, can't argue with that. Yeah. All right. 985. That's cool. And then please. Oh no, this is one. And then what about this? Like what? 25 bucks. <laughs> 15. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's I was, actually uh, what I was gonna offer. Yeah. yeah. Let's fuck it. That's cool. Okay. That's fine. And then, yeah. Uh, can you buy those? I mean, how much? Yeah, I'll take it. Just the price ought to be right. Yeah. What did we buy those? I don't know. I mean, we bought got those for me like a month ago. Yeah. One eighty. One eighty. Okay. It's. I think that's what I sold the. Really? For it, new with box. Yeah. Okay. Pretty uh, sure. I thought they were more than that. No. Nah. Okay, hundred. I'll take them for 50, man, honestly. Oh, hold on, yeah. does it? Okay, cool. Yeah, no worries. So, 1,000? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so, fantastic buyout we just did. Um, go over some of the pairs. Uh, so, got some of these, I think, Gym Red mids. I think they're worth a call. They got them for 15 bucks, so I'm sure we can't mess that one up. But uh, nice little pair here. They're really clean. They just don't have a box. Probably throw them up on the Instagram for, like, 40 bucks or something. Something cheap. Um, Shattered Backboard, 3.0s. One of my least favorite Jordan 1s of all time. These are actually Daniel's favorite Jordan 1. Right, Daniel? Yeah, totally. Yeah. It goes with his... Uh, That's what I'm saying. They go with his OSU. That's hard. They go with his OSU here. This is Daniel's best, best team in Oklahoma right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember the mock-ups of these. They were, like, so good. It just had that, like, tumbled leather. It was, like... Because the... When did they start mocking these up? In, like, 2018, Daniel? When did they start mocking these up? Twenty. Yeah, 2018, yeah. Um, and that was just a little after the Royal release. So they, it had that same Royal bread shadow color blocking, but it was orange and it had that nice soft tumbled leather in the mock-ups. And then we got the official photos and we were very disappointed uh, to say the least. Could have been such a good shoe, but <laughs> whatever. Um, military blacks. I just remember that we actually have a, another size 12 used in the back. Um, so I guess we'll have two of those, but always a good shoe to have. I'm not going to complain. You know, these fly for us. This is probably, other than Panda's, our best-selling shoe in the store. Um, 
other than like pandas and slides. Definitely our best-selling Jordan um, for this year. Really good mover, and I mean, I, I can see why. It's a great shoe, great colorway. Can't, can't be mad at those at all. You got those. Yes, sir. Classic right here, Bird 11. They do need to be cleaned up a little bit, um, but for 150, I can't argue with that, obviously. Um, cool gray 11s, stupid. Well, I was about to say stupid clean, but not really. Um, they need to be cleaned, but again, really not bad. Just literally just a white bee will probably knock it out, but need to be cleaned, but again, 125, there's no way I'm passing that up. Piper Royals, um, again, just a light cleaning. All these pairs need like a light cleaning, but they're nothing, they're not like beat, they don't have like crazy scuffs or, or heel drag or anything. They've all got their stars and stuff, so. Clean pair, this is another shoe that moves pretty well for us. We've had quite a few Hyper Royals in here and they all tend to move. Um, so I'm sure a lightly used pair will go pretty quick. And then lastly, um, the Fearless Air Jordan ones. Again, very clean. Just, just some dirty, but like all this stuff comes right off. Like you don't gotta worry about this being like permanent damage to the shoes. It's all like lightly dirty stuff that I'm not worried about at all. But another good pair right here. And yeah, it was a thousand dollars for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs. Um, can you do the math for us, Daniel? What does that average out to? A thousand just divided by six. Average out to one hundred and forty-two dollars and eighty-six cents. It's pretty good. A pair. That's kind of how I like to do it whenever I do like a bulk buyout. Um, I'll just average it out and kind of see where I'm at in each pair. Obviously, these aren't worth like 142, but I'm sh it'll still work out. Um, so yeah, technically 142 a pair. Can't be mad at that, man. Let's get to the next. All right, so I was very curious to get into this as well, but we got another package from DHL. So this is coming from overseas. Um, I get a lot of my. I don't want. I don't want to. I, I got to gatekeep my Stussy guys. I'm sorry, but that's a Stussy hoodie. Um, I do get a lot of it overseas, but pretty dope. A little uh, Stussy, it's making the LA with the fingers. Yeah, Astro, chill out, dude. It's making uh, on that 90s Stussy tag, made in the US of A. You gotta love that. Try this puppy on. It's a little dirty, but I think it'll clean up really well with some OxyClean. Normally, like these yellow stains come out really easily, and I got it for really cheap, too, so I'm sure I can make it work for the price I got it for. But yeah, really cool. Also, got a little hit right here on the arm. Right here, Stussy LA. Nice little baby blue, but yeah. A little unboxing for you guys. New Stussy. Oh, brother. Dude, I can't get over those fucking pants. Dude, they're Jesus hard. Y'all tell Daniel that the parachute pants are hard. Come on, I'm not crazy. Man. This fall's making- They make you look like you have like linebacker legs. They don't. I do have linebacker legs. I know. So I have huge wide, legs. Like, God damn. Dude, this is dope, man. Man, I'm really feeling myself. It's starting to get a little cold out. Feeling myself, man. Whoa, Stepping whoa, whoa. out. Fit check. Yeah. Stussy. 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 Hold on. Stussy. Check the boxers. Nah, not the. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not Stussy. Stussy. <laughs> you already know, man. Y'all already know. Is that it? Yeah, it's stained. Okay. I gotta clean it up. Head to toe. Full fit, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this guy's here. Might as well break down the fits now. Um, ladies first. Red. He insists. So what? Got a Harley T on body, uh, classic cargos, not so typical on the foot. New pair. Tell me about New that pair. one. Uh, walk in yesterday, steal, shout out to that guy, you know who you are. Yeah, he comes in and shops with us quite a bit, so. Not much more you can say, man. Straight to the toe. Essentials. You always gotta love a new pickup, right? Gotta love it. Got to say in the laps episode, uh, got to take a look and fit, man. And then, you know, uh, Instagram saw it first, Instagram it first on this one, but uh, Stussy head to toe. Um, by the way, if you don't follow the Instagram already, roll, put the pop tag. Uh, Stussy hat, Stussy tee, Stussy pants, Daniel's favorite pants, and uh, Stussy shoes. That's it. Stussy stallion. Stussy stallion. Stussy stallion. <laughs> Break it down, Daniel. Daniel's fit. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Oklahoma State polo because we're going to beat down on Baylor this weekend. Also, I want to rub it in on the OU fans uh, holding that fat L against K-State, really? Um, Lululemon, as always, on deck. And then the 2002 R protection pack. Again, in uh, Oklahoma State orange because fuck OU. The Vault DTX? Man, what's good, bro? What's up, man? Hey, uh, look at the uh, Instagram, man. I'm seeing that you guys had uh, a star skate 9.5. Yes, sir. They're still there? They still are, yes. The nine and a half, the pre-owned pair, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're still here, man. They were, they were, bro. All right, bro. All right, see you soon, man. Take care.
Y'all let us know what y'all think about these. Me and Daniel are having a debate right now. I love this shoe. These are great shoes. This is probably in my top five for sneakers of the year. I said about almost every shoe that it's in my top five, so probably not top five. Let me see something real quick. Wait, it's on the other shoe. Yeah. Matt, are these still in your top five of the year? Yeah, dude. Those are dope. Are they? I like them a lot. So if they didn't have Jound on them, would you walk into the No, I wouldn't store? get them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no. Quick, quick question. Is this not a Daniel shoe? Are any of these new bounces not Daniel shoes? Uh, Daniel, I can see you in those, man. Right? I don't see why not. I hate them. Like hate them all. I like them better than those. What do you mean, bro? It's a protection pack. Really burn orange guy. Reminds me of Texas. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's true. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like that. Wait till the ball and start dressing a bit more. Oh, God. <laughs> these, like, these, well, I like, I can see you in all of these. Logan, okay. well, I didn't get him for, uh, for Texas. I got him for OSU. Oh, yeah, I guess. I could see I could see Daniel in all of these. Could also give a shit about OSU to be honest. <laughs> Daniel went to OSU. He's actually good homies with Des Bryant. Daniel's contemplating going to a meetup right now to get a pair for his mother. But um, we were just talking because he was saying that the meetup's a little bit sketchy, and I just remembered. You remember when we uh, went to? Uh, <laughs> it was like in the middle of the night. Like literally, I mean, every red flag that's possible. It was there, like every single red flag that telling us not to do the meetup was there, and we still went. And what what, what happened? We went to we went to the car and like uh, we had to meet at a light post. Oh yeah, we met at a light post. One light post on <laughs> on the street. It's so sketchy. Like, it wasn't literally. a good neighborhood. It's just in the middle of the night, like 3 a.m. Literally two, yeah, like two or three a.m. And we went, we pulled up, and the dude the dude's there, and he was like, "Are you are y'all Matt from Offer Up or whatever?" And I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "Okay, can I see the shoes?" I was like, can I see the money? And <laughs> and he like, he was like, he like pointed at his friend in the back. He was like, and then he like put the money up, and then um, he was like, here, hand me the shoes. And I was like, hand me the money. And then it was like, it was just super tense. Like it was super awkward. I I know he wanted to just drive off with the shoes, but it didn't end up working out for him. We ended up being all right, but it was really sketchy. I don't, I don't know. I gave me a super weird vibe. <laughs> Bro's taking this uh, Grateful Dead tea. Beautiful piece right here, man. This is my size of poet came home with me, but beautiful piece. Tell them who you are, though, man. Appreciate you for coming What's by. Man? I'm Tasha on DR. You know what I'm saying? We on tour right now in Dallas on the ADHD tour with Joyner Lucas. So uh, we had to come and get some drip right, you know what I mean? Show about to go up, so I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate yeah, you, man. bro. Be easy. Um, it's the nitty gritty right here. Just comes down to stuff like this, you know? Good lighting and all. You know? Keep the lighting. Some details on the tea? I think it kind of speaks for itself. That's stock, Jurassic Park, you know. What's the date on that puppy? 1992. 92. Dead stock with tags? Dead stock with tags. Someone bought dope. this for uh, 12 99 back in the day. Probably, Probably from yeah. Ross or something. It's pretty dope. Crazy, How much is it worth now? Uh, I think we're putting it at 60, right? Or 80, something like that. 60 to 80, we'll figure it out, but pretty dope now. Single stitch all around, you know. The good Classic stuff. Classic movie, man. Great film. Great film. Great film. Great year. All around the vintage, uh, we've got some more cool pieces to show y'all. Y'all saw this one in the last video, it's hung up here. Carson brought this one back. I don't know why, man. Apparently it didn't fit him right, but it's a beautiful tee. If that was my size, definitely would not be here right now. Shaq tee, crazy tee. Um, it's on a pro player tag. It was on a pro player tag, but it got ripped off. Regardless, insane tee. Um, got a couple of those pro players from a homie that comes, shops pretty frequently with us. Um, he brought some cool ones, though. We've got a Peyton Manning one right here. Super crazy tee. These pro player graphics are always insane. This one as well, you know, Dolphins are going crazy this year, so this will probably sell. I've talked about it in the past videos, but normally when a team's doing well, um, their sports tees tend to sell pretty well, just because... Uh, rest up to it. Rest up to it, man. Up. Sucks, man. I was so sad to see that happen last night, but... Uh, shout out our boy Trent Swinford. Yeah, shout out Trent. The biggest Dolphins fan I know, but uh, pray for pray for Tua, man. Pray for number one. But cool Dolphins tee, really cool uh, piece. You don't see too many Dolphins tees, honestly. I mean, obviously, I've never even seen a Dan Marino tee. I don't say I don't think so. Really cool shirt though. Um, trying to think if there's any more stand out. Oh yeah, we got a couple more wrestling too. Um, one of my favorite wrestling tees on the rack is Steve Austin. Insane shirt, the crazy snake on the front and then don't trust anybody. It's a fact. All right, so bro's taking the alternate uh, motorsports, the classic color. We actually had the both motorsports, but uh, he's taking the black pair. Good shoe. A little bit of an older four pair you don't see every day. Balls on Instagram already? No. no, you don't? Okay, cool. I'll throw a sticker in there. This is our sticker right here. 
It's got our Instagram on it. We post all our new arrivals and stuff. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Take Appreciate care. Man. It. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Appreciate you for coming back. Didn't think he was coming back. Honestly, he uh, had to go get some money out of the ATM. Uh, it's a classic. Um, he didn't have enough cash on him, but he said he had to go get money out of the ATM. And uh, even Logan said it. What do you, what'd you say, Logan? He ain't coming back. He did, and he bought him. All right, guys, so it's Monday, we're back. Um, we got a lot of crazy stuff over the weekend, so we'll start out with that, actually. We'll get to that in a second, I forgot about the awesome stuff we got over the weekend. Um, so, as you can see, this has gotten ridiculous once again. It seems like every other video, we have to add more shelving and stuff. So, like I said, we'll get to that in a second. Um, but yeah, again, buyouts have been nonstop and just great deals we can't pass up on, so we have just keep buying them. Um, just some stars real quick, Storm Blues. Uh, Panda, Pigeon, SBs, these are really nice. I used to have a pair of these actually. I didn't wear them too much, I ended up selling them, but still a great pair. Um, got some cool samples. This is sample on the inside, not for resale, um, which is kind of ironic, but a little Pigeon right here. And then it's gotten like that reverse Panda colorway, uh, which is a really cool shoe. Nice dope, nice dope SB. Um, that's about it for what's on the counter. Uh, what's in here? Finally got one of these. I've been wanting this pair for so long. To get, I mean, I already have them personally, but I mean, I, I want, I've been wanting a pair in here for so long, a per, uh, pair for the store. And here we've got a pair of the OG Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Highs, um, dead stock in a size 10 and a half. Really happy to have these. And then one of the coolest pairs we've gotten in a while, and one of, and definitely the best pair we got over the weekend, these 2012 Supreme Red Cement SBs. This is a crazy pair, you do not see these very often. And especially in this condition, um, it's wrapped so you can't really see, but they have like full stars are still there. This pair is in like VNDS condition. So it's really crazy to see one of these in this good of condition. I really never see them. Um, but yeah, really cool pair right here. This used to be nothing, man. These used to literally go for like 250 bucks. It's crazy now. We've got them at 1400, which honestly is a solid price. If you look at market, it's actually really solid. Um, it's just crazy to see how much these have gone up. I remember, I can't remember who was telling me, but one of my homies had traded a pair of cream Yeezys, a used pair of cream Yeezys, the all white ones for a pair of these brand new, like straight up back in like, I don't know, I think it was 2016, 2017. Um, and honestly, back then the cream Yeezy, like the dude that got the cream Yeezys honestly dubbed on that trade. But looking back at it, it's just crazy to see how, you know, everything changes. That's about all the stuff we got over the weekend. Um, we had a crazy weekend. Thank you guys for the continued um, support. It's been great. Also, um, I guess we'll announce it right now too. Dennis Rodman tee is coming soon. I did a poll on the Instagram and you guys were really wanting uh, a Dennis tee. It was between Dennis and Shaq and Dennis wiped. Honestly, he beat Shaq pretty bad. Um, so we'll have to do sh uh, Shaq later on. Dennis is coming by the end of October. You can quote me on that. Dennis Rodman tees will be available by the end of October and we've got a restock on the Kobe and MJTs coming next week. Um, so those will be here too in some of the sizes that were sold out like larges and XLs. Those will have a full restock on all those sizes. So come grab those and be ready for the dentist tees. I promise you guys those are gonna be probably the best ones yet. I just, the, the design's crazy. I, I can't wait to show you all, but anyways, right here, we've got our new shelf. So this is what we're thinking. Um, we're gonna do some shelving all the way across the grail wall. Um, probably gonna have to move some of these longer tees and adjust them to like the shorter tees. Like the shack tee looks a little better cause it's not so long. Um, we might even just have to move the whole wall up. Well, depending on how it looks, we'll have to see. Um, but if it's not too bad, we'll probably just leave them where they're at. Just put the shorter tees right here. But this is gonna hold a ton of shoes. And you know, you can kind of put them sideways if we're low on shoes. And if we're full, you can put them straight on. So this is gonna hold a ton of shoes. And I'm really excited to get this up. Basically what we're gonna be doing is just gluing it um, to, the, to the bars right here. And I mean, yeah, just gluing it. And I mean, it's pretty much sturdy. Once, once it's glued, it'll be nice and on there. Um, but we've got, I gotta go pick up the other one from Home Depot right now with the shelves. It's perfectly measured right here, like right in the center. Um, so the other one will go right all the way down there. Um, this is the fourth Home Depot trip I've made today because I went and got the wrong measurements. Um, that's my bad, I'm an idiot, but uh, we're back and we got the right ones this time. I'm going again right now to pick up the other one because it didn't fit in my car. I drive a sedan, so um, it's not very fun <laughs> lugging these around with my trunk open all the way down the highway, but whatever, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right guys, appreciate y'all for tuning in for episode eight. See y'all episode nine next week. Later guys.